Okay, so welcome back guys to me, Spatial Maniac! And today we're playing... Oh god, I forgot what the game is called. We're playing Mass Effect 1. So I got all the games um, right before the new one is coming out. I don't know exactly when it's coming out, but I thought like, let's try to play through as much of it as possible. And we might be able to finish everything before the game comes out. And then we have a fantastic prequel to, well, you know. Anyway, uh, let's jump into it. Uh, I'm a huge Mass Effect fan. and uh, I've played some of these, I think I played all of the three games before. But let's go back and play it again. Um, let's go with Don Shepard. Please log in to access your profile. Please uh, log in to uh, get your account name and be awesome. So we we'll just go profile with the Shepard because uh, I'm boring like that. Origin Earthborn. No, actually. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go with custom mail. Yon Shepard. Uh, um, Baldi. Baldi. No, no. Okay, Baldi Shepard. Sure. Why not? Decrypting. Verify user name. Verify user data. Data corruption. Whoopsie. Data corruption. Oh, okay. Please reconstruct profile. Yeah. Pre-service history. Okay. So what will it be? This is the most boring thing of all gameplay. But let's go for it. Both your parents were in the alliance military. Your child was spent chips. Colonist, um, I'm a Earth one, obviously. Uh, let's go. You were an. History. Oh, shut up. You were the orphan raised on the streets of the great me megatropolis over covering Earth. You escaped the life of Peter Crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military. When you turned 18, psychological profile. so Ruthless War Hero Soul Survivor, during your service as mission, you were one. You were on the wet. You were on went horrible wrong. Okay, trapped in an extreme survival situation. You had to overcome physical torments and physical physical Oh my God, my English is terrible today. I'm sorry. Your and physical physiological stress that you would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you alone are left to tell the tale. War Hero, early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeated the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have actually earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to the basic rule. Get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating and brutal. Your repetition for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers very of you, but when fairly is not an option, the military always goes for goes to your fleet, goes to you first. And I'm obviously a war hero, so uh, that's what me feels uh, like it's Confirm most me. Military oh, this will be fun. And um, I am most likely a soldier and engineer. I feel. Ooh, um, the vanguard is pretty nice though, and central. Let's see this infiltrator. Infantry is combining combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long range. Inflators are trained to use omni tools, focusing on decrypting and offensive abilities rather than healing. They can use pistol or sniper rifles and medium armor. Yeah, this Confirm will be me. Facial identification. Yeah, let's Profile go. Reconstruction complete. Perfect. Confirm. Identification confirmed. Yeah, let's go with it. We're into it then! Uh, off to a fantastic start. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Mm, too bad. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. Yep. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground. I proved myself on the blitz. Well, that's perfect. He's the only reason the Lyceum is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero, and Shepard's the best we've got. 
I don't think I played the first one. I don't remember this. In the year 2048, explorers on Mars discovered remains of an ancient, ancient spacecraft. Civilist special. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to further stars. The basis of this incredible technology was forced. I didn't read that, but sure. Mass Effect! Here we go. This fucking spacecraft is so fucking cool! The Arcturus Prime relays in range, initiating transmission sequence. Commander, this will be fun. I'm so pumped about this. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Here we go. My favorite. Is green. So cool. Approach run has begun. The mass effect relays. Hell yeah. Boom 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 boom. Speed it up. Hitting We're coming three, through. Three, two, one. Yep. Warp speed, let's go. Check, navigation. Check, internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. Ooh, 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. Oh, it was not Garrus, it was Nilius. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Yep. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find the comm Captain Anderson. The I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Is that aye, so? Aye, Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Uh, funny. Okay, very good. Okay, I can shoot in the ship now. That's cool, I guess. Okay, cool. I grew up on Eden Prime Dock. It's not the kind of place Spectre's been. Something Nihilus isn't telling us about this. Okay, cool. Hello. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. You'll Just treat fine. this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Nihilus! Well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them 
too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Blah, 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 blah. He is good. He's a... I will fucking show that. Spectre is directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, well, you look yeah. a good Spectre. You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. How do you control agents with unlimited power? UNLIMITED POWER! Got out of hand. I'm sorry. At that I point, Citadel shit. Security Services would take over. Those C-Sec grunts wouldn't stand a chance. Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre Justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. You're Eden Prime. Jenkins. What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But, when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any okay. idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Thank you. Now stop with it. I'm nagging, 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 prodding. But I want the... All the... Oh, the commanding officer made specific... Oh, I'm not even the commanding officer. Okay, this new... I want to talk to people because you get... Uh, Congratulations, um, Commander. Looks like we had luck. a smooth run. Charm points. Heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have no. to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Cool. So, I don't think I'm going to supposed to go here now. Oh, okay. It's a bit different when uh, the old uh, Normandy is it? Oh, is this it? Small ship. Very small. Commander Compared Shepard, to the uh, I was third one. Here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this. Oh, program. Captain Anderson is the command. Oh, I get it now. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof yep. That humanity uh, no, they will destroy it. Across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe I don't know. is it, really? What is Do it? you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the oh, Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Yeah. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. Oh You're my god. A covert pickup on Eden Prime. I'm sorry. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime Fucking hell. unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Well, that's not good. Me. That's this not good. Protheans are pretty strong. The last time humanity made a discovery, but like dead, this, but strong. It jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. 
Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. I'm gonna try a thing. Wait. There you go. I'm a bit better color. My well, we camera. Ourselves. You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. Ah, uh, funny. The has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you oh. do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I well, uh, skills for myself, yeah, I can try. Eden Prime I will guess. be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the I'm mission. ready. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Oh, Bring this cannot screen. be good. Whoa! Get down! Already oh, fighting, man. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't. Get back. They came out of nowhere. We need. This is the Reapers. It's the fucking Reapers! I'm sorry for spoiling it, the most of you probably know who they are. The fucking Reapers, oh my god. Everything cuts out after that, no comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly, without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. You are going in. My fucking camera's yellow, but fuck that. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nylon, Let's go. You coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. <gasps> Good luck. I'm a ghost. We are approaching drop point two. Let's go for it. Move out! Oh my god!
Where is there? All targets down. What was that? I don't know what that is. Where am I going? Okay, so we're going here. Oh, oh in this way? Nope. I'm sorry, it's a bit confusing. Oh, I went there completely the wrong way. I wasn't supposed to go there. Oh, no ammo. Okay, cool. Those can come back to life. I don't like it. I don't like one bit. Well, that was fine. Uh, okay. I will anyhow end this video here, and I will get back to you later. So if you like this, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment down below what you want me to do next, and what you think about this episode, and what you think about everything I do. Uh, so, but until then, bye-bye. Uh,